Good morning, guys. My uh, morning brief here. So some main takeaways that I want you guys to be aware of, uh, some things that I'm watching here. So I'm, I use the on uh, balance volume. And what really worries me here is how uh, volume on price continues to go down here on our SPY. This is my uh, biggest worry going into today's session. Uh, it just, uh, you know, for the past several days here, we're just not getting new participation in these markets. And as long as you have a consolidation area and you have solid participation, you know, that is a, uh, you know, a uh, signal of, uh, of uh, consolidation and they're just accumulating for a potential move higher. But what, we're, what I'm seeing here, this is not that the case. Actually, I think they're, that volumes are just getting extremely light here, suggesting that we might be setting up for another move lower. So uh, some things that I'm looking at here, uh, I think it's possibly today we are going to break it. Uh, this is our bull bear cross line, okay? And I'll go out in a minute. I'll show you where that comes from. But uh, we have a, uh, a a volatility box below us here. Uh, if we start breaking down, uh, it's right below the 200-day moving average. And so basically, we could be setting up for a move all the way down here to 428 here on SPY. So definitely keep this one on watch here. This is, if, if we start to go, it could get violent quick. So uh, one of the main things, main takeaways this morning. Now, if I go out on a daily here, that white line there, let me show you. See this white line right here? That was the white line I was talking about. That's like the bull bear cross line. We are right there threatening a break of that bull bear cross line. And it, once that breaks, it could start getting pretty damn violent here. So uh, we could see a very fast, possibly even today, all the way down to 428 on the uh, SPY if this thing starts gaining some steam here. So uh, when, when, the, when technicals start breaking, they can break pretty dang quick. So uh, I do want to float that idea in today's session. Okay, cues. So the cues, we're just getting fairly even we're still getting a lot of accumulation distribution so there's still a fairly healthy exchange uh, of uh, trading in my opinion but we are beyond the core of uh, the tech earnings and uh, like we've got Nvidia ahead of us still and that's one of the few things still ahead of us and so uh, and it's one of the few tech stocks uh, really um, got AMD Nvidia uh, maybe Taiwan Semiconductor, but most tech stocks were not participating in yesterday's trading. So, um, definitely keep that one on watch. If this thing were to start losing some steam here, there's another volatility box below us on that one. That could be taking us all the way down here to the, uh, 330, uh, 750 area, possibly on the queues for our support by the end of the week. Uh, like I said, when these, if these things, uh, start breaking, it can get violent. Uh, if I go on a one hour here, I want to point out also, we have this uh, trading channel and we will be technically back outside of that trading channel to, to open uh, uh, our session today. So, you know, if this thing starts to break, it can break in a big way. And once it, you notice, once you've broken, uh, you know, uh, it had, you know, the first time the volatility just exploded. Whenever we started breaking out of that channel, uh, they've been supporting it here lately. But so definitely keep this one on watch here. Uh, you know, on the one hour time frame, we're already trading below our 200 day moving average. Not a very good bullish case to start the session. I know the indices look a okay here, but uh, I do want to float that idea as well. And if you go out in the daily I'll, for that channel, I can show you here. Been in that channel for a very long time here, and we are threatening a break. Uh, an initial break here today of that channel okay possibly uh you know here we are at a double bottom scenario or triple bottom so <clears throat> we look below we just have not gained any steam <clears throat> looks like a bear flag <clears throat> for setting up for another reset lower so bottom line is if this thing properly resets we're looking at three uh well uh Almost uh, 305, basically the 305 area, probably. Yeah, 300. 
probably around the 300 area, you know, uh, because you, if you take this candle right here, that's the breakout candle. So you're getting awful close to that $300 area, 305 uh, on the cues to the downside. And <laughs> that is a massive haircut if you're going to do something like that. So definitely keep that one on the watch. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our 15 minutes. Uh, we are still in a volatility box uh, that did not bounce. So we're in this very low, uh, we're in the lowest volatility box here on our IWM. Uh, we have not repaired uh, much of anything. We we went in yes on a weekly time, on a weekly basis. We closed better on IWM than we did some of the other on the other indices, but we're still into this volatility box. And uh, if you look out in the one hour time frame here, yeah, most of the other indices have bounced to higher levels. You know, we we're stuck. We're trapped right here in this volatility box, and we have not bounced. So, you know, uh, definitely a dangerous situation, uh, even on our Russell here, okay? So keep that one on watch. Uh, and I have pointed out before, uh, I do not think the markets are done to the downside. To, at the very least, we get to this, uh, the 181 area uh, here on the on, uh, the quarter pivot here for the IWM. So just keep this one on watch. Uh, that's one of the main things, I'm takeaways I'm, I'm going to float today, okay? And then on a 15 minute, what was it doing on the, and like I said, uh, so we did start the week and uh, we were trading with a lower uh, on balance volume to start our week. You know, even though we had, this was the strongest area, we were doing this on a little bit lighter uh, uh, internals than what we were actually even seeing Friday. So, so just keep that in mind also on that diamonds uh pretty much flat you know they pretty much mirrored what was going on friday uh we did see a little bit of action in the diamonds yesterday uh <clears throat> pretty much sideways uh you know as far as money flows go pretty much uh, exactly the same as the day before so we'll see what happens going on that we do have a volatility box below us here on our diamonds uh that would take us all the way down to the bottom of the box it would take us down to uh, a 346 well, 346.70 area here. And if I go out in the longer time frame, you can see it. Uh, so we basically would be tagging, looking for a uh, retest of that right there. Now, if we lose that 346 area, okay? So this is our current uh, volatility box we're trading in, which is not really supported. So I do want to point that out. See how we just completely destroyed, uh, blew through that. This can be a very fast, and not supported volatility box. This here is your true volatility box down here on the diamonds. So this is looking quite similar to the uh, SPY and the Qs. So definitely keep this on watch going forward here. Uh, you know, if the, the SPY and the Qs were to start breaking down, that is a warning sign. So guys, we do have Pfizer reporting earnings here in just a little bit. The earnings are not out yet. But, you know, uh, it, they are uh, very bullish uh, in the overnight session so far here on Pfizer going into these numbers. So keep this one on watch here. Uh, so that's one of the top ones uh, performers for this week so far. Then we also had NVIDIA. Uh, I don't know when it's recording, but uh, NVIDIA is down this morning. Okay. Uh, so just keep this one on watch going forward here. And let me get my weekly pivots on here so I can show you what I'm talking about. And so I brought this up because we are still above our weekly pivot, but we are below our monthly pivot here on the video. Not an overly healthy uh, chart, but it was very active yesterday. Um, let's see here, what's next? BP reports this morning. Very active yesterday. Very strong pattern. Very strong above our monthly pivot, very strong off of our quarterly pivot. The earnings are still not out. Uh, no, not quarterly, uh, weekly pivot. That's your weekly pivot right there. Really strong pattern here going into the numbers today on BP, BAC, Bank of America. Uh, really strong pattern, monthly pivot. And then our uh, the weekly pivot's right through here. Okay, right underneath this line. You can't really see it. But the weekly pivots right here. So a really strong uh, pattern on Bank of America initially this week. 
uh, into these high, into this recent high area. So if I go out on the daily on that one, that's putting us back up into this all time high area for Bank of America. And if you want to see a rebound in the markets, you know, you really want to see these banks quoting a bid. And right now they seem to be doing that. So, uh, so definitely keep that one on watch in today's session. And then we have AMD was really uh, active today. Uh, so basically we're above our monthly pivot, above our weekly pivot on that. So that's a bullish pattern. Okay. And uh, we're six at. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, GSM. That's your sixth uh, on volume yesterday. So uh, we're about to break that weekly pivot and we're below our monthly so this is more of a bearish scenario uh, so uh, just keep that one on watch I did see a lot of we do have a lot of open interest going into this week in coke uh, it is reporting later this week uh, it is trending up higher breaking out the new all-time highs uh, where's eight JP Morgan really strong here Okay, we are trying to cross above our monthly pivot. This thing here could be a runner today. You see this, you know, JP Morgan might be setting up as a runner to the upside if the markets hold here. Could be a really strong pattern here. You see, we might potentially be breaking with a really strong pattern on JP Morgan today. So if the markets were to hold, I, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, nine. One second here, let me see if I can find it. Oh, uh, Exxon Mobil. It's ninth on my list here. Very strong pattern coming into today's session. Okay. Uh, 10 would be, uh, let's see, that's another energy, CVX. Very strong pattern coming into today's session. RTX, that's one of your uh, defense contractors. Uh, we are above our monthly and our weekly pivots, uh, showing a little bit of weakness here. Uh, kind of thinking that thing's going to fail, so we'll just keep that one on watch here. This looks like a, fail, a possible failing pattern, uh, even though it's still showing some relative strength. And I'm, and then I've been stuck from Boeing. It's 12th on my list here, so we are into this uh, volatility box. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking Boeing uh, is setting up for a run up here to the... Uh, uh, 222, uh, 226 area. So we got the 200-day moving average above us here for Boeing. Uh, so just keep this on watch. Uh, we are up a little bit this morning versus the close, but not by very much. So keep that one on the watch as well. Going forward today, Disney is reporting this week. Keep this one on watch. That's reporting uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are hugging this monthly pivot going into those numbers. Don't really see much uh, bullish action in that until after the numbers come out and then city. City will be my last one on the list, another bank, okay? So major themes here, the strength that I'm seeing here, uh, you're seeing strength in the names going into earnings. You're seeing strength in the banks. And uh, like I said, Bank of America or uh, Boeing and uh, you know, uh, those are some of the strongest things in the market. Some of these semiconductors and Boeing, and that's about it. I mean, uh, uh, as far as remaining strength in the market. So I'm, I wanted to look at the bullish side, you know, we'll make the bullish case there. But by far and large, most things have already broken their uh, weekly pivots coming into today's session. So, you know, the, you know, uh, uh, just remember that, you know, uh, it's, it's really hard to ride a ship whenever uh, uh, most of the ship's underwater. <laughs> okay, so I only I gave you 14 names and there's not a whole lot more names that are above water of any of any significance. So, uh, so basically, I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, like the video if you like it. Please retweet it on Twitter. You can follow me, Gumby9662C on Twitter if, you, if, you, if you're not following me already. And, uh, you know, uh, coming into this session, if my bias, uh, you know, uh, we have Bitcoin down this morning. And uh, so I'm trying to uh, be very careful here, but uh, I have a bearish bias, believe it or not. I, I think we're going to be breaking some supports today. So 
just keep that in mind here uh, and uh, going forward in today's session. Okay. Uh, you can leave comments below the video if you have any uh, additional comments.